Hi, this is uh, the Harman Kardon unit uh, which is uh, used for iPod docking and I got this from my friend uh, who had a problem with the speakers which has been worn out already so he gave this to me to you know just to try whatever I want to try and uh, what I saw on this unit is this subwoofer has been already worn out uh, so which is causing this a bad distortion sound so what I thought was to help this woofer not coming out to help it with much more better components so what I thought here was to add a fiber mesh along with a bit of glue into it where you can see this small fiber mesh uh, which is made of uh, fiberglass and I have it attached along with some glue to this so that it doesn't uh, come out because of the uh, audio so uh, this is just to avoid this woofer coming out of the magnet coil which usually happens when the subwoofer worn out it just come out so to avoid that I have added enough glue so that it holds the coil inside the magnet uh, now after doing this alteration I have also done some uh, changes here where you can see I have taken out one of the uh, speaker coil, I mean the speaker cover and I had attached a Bluetooth receiver internally and I had the pairing button here which uh, which I have uh, taken it from the internal connections and uh, made it visible outside so that it becomes easy when I want to pair any other device other than my device okay now going here uh, I had done some alterations internally as well okay here you can see the Bluetooth receiver which I have attached externally um, this Bluetooth receiver is connected with this particular transistor which is 7805 which gives a step down voltage from the original transformer to charge my Bluetooth receiver constantly Apart from this, I have added an internal lithium ion battery which is, uh, which is close to 15 volt of uh, charge and 1000 milliamps and this can hold up to at least 3 hours of uh, playback and to charge this unit I have used 7815 uh, 15 volt regulator transistor which will keep charging the uh, internal lithium ion battery as well. Uh, and to add something extra I had extended the Bluetooth receiver antenna with this particular wire and I am planning to hook this to the uh, handle of the stereo system which is uh, going to act like an antenna for me which will give me a better reception in the signals okay and to manage between the charge and the discharge I have I used a dongle switch uh, which will help me to you know uh, use whichever I want like charging and discharging as well the output from the Bluetooth receiver is connected to this aux input uh, if I use an aux input then it gets from the direct aux cable if not it will just use the aux input similarly from the Bluetooth receiver I have used a step down uh, voltage from the adapter input which directly gets into these transistors and from here I get two different voltages which one is will keep constantly charging the Bluetooth receiver and the other one will keep constantly charging this particular battery and if I want or if I want or if I don't want to charge I use this switch and I can toggle between the charging and the discharging circuit I had used the 7805 along with an heat sink uh, especially particularly near the uh, 